Good morning, everybody. Steve Rich here with our marketing. Uh, today, I wanted to share with you um, a program that had just come out to help all realtors. This is uh, something that uh, has been proven and uh, we just really love to share it with you guys. Let me uh, just share my screen real quick and um, I'll uh, show you what I'm talking about here. Okay. Most realtors that are out there that are smart and have done a great job, the exceeding ones will realize that today's marketing is different than what it used to be. Today, it's about communication, not gimmicks. It's about education. It's about resonating. It's about making that connection with, with the client um, so they trust you. Um, one of the other things that, that people don't realize is sometimes I think because I've got social media, because I got TV, or because I got a, a van with my logo on it, that's my marketing. That's not, those are just vehicles. Um, and your marketing is truly your passion, your attitude, and the emotion that you share that makes that connection, that resonates with people. Um, right now, there's, as you know, over 20,000 realtors in Utah. So how are you gonna stand out? How are you gonna be different than most of those realtors? Um, with our program, we'll show you how that you can express that, first of all, you have empathy. You, you understand the pain points of your clients. Uh, number two, you, you have the ability to accomplish. This is where your credibility comes in, that you can do it. You've, you've got a past. You've got testimonials. You've got people that sh uh, have worked with you that know that it can be done. And then your contagious attitude. This is where you stand apart, where you're fun, you're um, informational, uh, you have the knowledge, you have the experience, you make people feel comfortable working with you and, and by sharing your passion. Often it is way more important that the message that we advertise is not necessarily to the public, but how we communicate and uh, share our attitude with our referral partners, our employees and team members, our past clients, peers, family members, friends, Everybody that we work with that could bring us those leads, those it's more important how we communicate with them and how we stay in touch with them and how we, we uh, foster and, and develop that re uh, relationship. So if you have an epic plan, if you have an epi epic idea, you have a way you're gonna go to market, how do you communicate that to these referral partners, to your team members? Do you send them a boring memo like that one there where Number three point says, we are excited about the event planned for next Saturday. Please come ready to help. That doesn't tell anybody anything. It doesn't share your emotion. It doesn't um, uh, share anything like your passion or your desire, what you want to accomplish. So you need to figure out how you're gonna do that in a special way that stands out to those referral partners and those that'll bring you leads. Machiavelli said, make no small plans for they have no magic to stir the soul. So we've been told this from the from early ages that, that we have to stir the soul, we have to have something emotional, we have to have something that resonates. Today's top leaders say, well Zig Ziglar says, people don't buy for logical reasons, they buy for emotional reasons. Chip Conley, the most successful business leaders are often experts in emotions. Um, Gary Vee says, to get customers you need to go from the heart to the brain to the wallet. Tony Robbins, people buy feelings, not things. And one of my heroes, Seth Godin, says, people do not buy goods and services. They buy relations, stories, and magic. So if they're saying that to make your sell, you've got to make that emotional connection. Um, where do we go from here? How do you do that? So what I believe in is that smart marketers know that if you're going to give away a prize, include a drum roll. What I mean by that is if you're going to your network group meeting or or some other thing where you're giving away a prize, remember that prize to make a big deal out about that prize. Don't, don't show up to your B&I or whatever with, and forget and pull a 20 out of your back pocket or something like that. Do something special ahead of time that's themed or memorable, or something that'll stand out. Include that drum roll, make sure it's something big so that it is something remembered. Um, if it's special to you, make it special to the other people. If the results of it are going to be special to you, make it special to others. Um, if you're going to share your passion, you're going to talk about what you do, 
let people feel your emotion. Sometimes they can't feel it in a memo. They have to see it or hear it and be a part of it. So if it's a video or a blog or even a phone call is better than a memo when you're expressing your emotion or passion for what you're doing. If it's epic to you or the results are going to be epic to you, make it epic to others. Um, if you're going to communicate, punctuate it with passion. So however you're going to send your message. And I know right now we're not doing a whole lot of shows and booths and, and um, uh, any type of gathering. But when you do, if you've got an open house or you've got something coming up, why not go through and do something special? Make it themed. Make it fun. Make it something that people remember and talk about to others besides the normal, besides what everybody else is doing. Um, if it's awesome to you or the results are going to be awesome to you, make it awesome to uh, the audience, to the people coming, the people that are going to be there. Now, if you're going to stand for something, if it's a charity, if it's something that you believe in, if it's something that's uh, just a concept, you need to let people see their, your courage. If it's important to you or the results are important, then make it important to them. Do something special that stands out. Do something if it's a direct mail piece or the art behind it, or you're gonna drop off a gift to a client, make it special um, to others. Um, when I, uh, in my previous job, I would get lots of gifts dropped off to me by salespeople. And a lot of times around St. Patty's Day, I get you know a dozen little gifts on my desk and they'd all be green and all have the St. Patty's Day theme. And then because there were so many of them, um, unfortunately they didn't stand out to me like they should. Um, because everybody had the same idea and the same thing. Even though I was appreciative, it did stand out to me. But one time I had this gift dropped off to me and it said, Happy National Suspenders Day. It had some suspenders in there, some candy and some goods in a little basket. And it said, here's how we're going to support you. And they listed things that they were going to do to help me with my job. Um, that stuck out for me. Well, that was over a decade ago. I still remember today. I still talk about it today because it was something that stood out. If they'd just gone with the St. Patty's day thing, I would have been appreciative, but it wouldn't have been remembered past a day or two. So think about when you give gifts, when you do things, when you do something for charity, how can you do it so that it stand out, so it stands out and is remembered? We have the SMART plan has just come out again for this quarter. And let me tell you what that is if you're not familiar. I know a lot of you probably are and have ordered it and worked with it in the past. Uh, the SMART plan is a three-month planning calendar, strategic planning calendar. This one that just came out was, is for April, May, and June of 2020. And it has 116 pages for those three months of fun and strategic ideas. Um, you get it in hard copy form. Um, some people said, can I get it digital? Yeah, we can provide it digitally too. But most people want it in hard copy that they can sit down with their team or with the referral partners and look and plan and write notes and keep track of ideas, and that's how it comes. So what's in there is social media content so that you can stay in touch with people, especially during this pandemic time. How are you gonna stay in front of people? How are you gonna keep your ideas, your attitude, the feeling people have about you, even just your kindness and how you relate with people? Well, right now, a lot of it has to be done digitally. This helps provide you with social media ideas and content. It also has event theme ideas. Um, talks about national days of, of things you can get behind. It has promotional ideas, how to get behind different charities or how to get, how to put something out that stands out and, and grabs people's attention. It even has client gift themes and ideas. So a SMART plan, the SMART stands for Seasonal Marketing and Retention Tactics. So again, this is not just for new clients, in fact, a lot of this will be based upon retaining past clients, retaining people that work with you, reminding referral partners what you provide and what you do. So here's kind of what it looks like the inside pages is it's a strategic planning calendar and you can see like April laid out, these are all the national days or possible themes or ideas that are available out there um, for the day, for the week or for the month, it lists them all. We also include movie releases. So any new movies that are coming out, if that's a good theme to get behind or you want to rent a theater and do a promotion behind a new Marvel movie or whatever it might be, we list all those also. Then 
in the pages of following, each day is represented and, and you can go through and look and see all the themes or possible ideas for that day. Because sometimes you'll have something that can be kind of corny and funny. Um, um, some businesses say, no, I've got to have something more financial and serious related, something or more charity oriented, or it could be pets or food or whatever it is. This shows you a variety of themes that might fit your business or your industry better, or even your personality better in how you portray yourself. And then it's set in planning workbook form. So it includes pages where you can write ideas and notes and track stuff for future years of how it worked out. Um, how measurements came through, that type of thing. Um, right now, um, with everything that's going on, we've reduced the price. Um, right now, it's only $59 per quarter. You can subscribe for the whole year for only $199. Now, again, that's limited time, so don't hold on to this email too long because uh, it will go back up to normal price. Um, and there's lots of ways you can order. The simplest way is to call and and if we don't answer right away, leave us a message on that phone number there, 1-801-784-7600. You can just Venmo us. You can message us through Facebook, anything that uh, way you can contact us and we'll get it to you. Now, how we're delivering those is um, if you're here locally, we're trying to drop them off the packages either at your home or office, depending on if you're working from home or not. And my staff and I have just been taking and every day going and dropping them some off to, to local people. If it's not local or you'd rather have it in the mail, we can mail it also and uh, FedEx it or whatever to you so that you have it. Um, again, smart marketers know that to be smart, you have to share your passion. You have to make that connection. You have to emotionally reach out and touch people. So if the results are epic to you, if you want epic results long term, you want to continue to grow, order your smart plan today, call us and um, I'll talk to you later. Uh, thanks again for your time today.